We can also, I will show you how to crack a WPA2 network. You first go to terminal and issue this command, airmon-ng. So it will list the wireless interfaces you currently have on your computer. The interface here is wireless LAN 0. So what we need to do is to let this interface listens to the wireless networks connections around us. We need to enable that by using the same command airmon-ng start. So start monitoring on this interface WLAN 0. So now it enabled that but we have some errors here. We have two processes that we need to kill in order to continue with our attack. So use kill and then kill 112. So now if you issue the same command again you will see that the interface now name has changed from WLAN 0 to WLAN 0 mon. So now our interface is in monitoring mode. The next thing, we need to capture the traffic of the wireless networks around us and dump this traffic in a file. The command to go for is rdump-ng then we need to specify the interface name which is WLAN 0 mon. So now we will be able to see all the traffic around us in this form. The BSS ID is the MAC address of access point or Wi-Fi. The CH here represents the channel and where the connection is running on. The encryption here says it's mostly or it's WPA2 for all. And this is the, the name of the hotspot or name of the connection. So I'll do this attack on my network which is MAJO. I just need to press Ctrl C to stop that. So now we have this information related to the connection or the spot that I need to attack. Next thing is to dig more deep and see who are the stations that are associated with this access point. So the next command to do is air dump. So now we will write this information into a file. So use the command airdump-ng then the W parameter which specifies the file name that we need to run or to capture the traffic to. Let's name it attack1 and then for the channel which is channel5 and then bssid paste it here and to specify the interface. So currently only two stations are associated with my hotspot here. This is the MAC address of the station and this is of course the MAC address of the hotspot. So now the cap file is capturing the traffic, everything. But in order for us to, to do the attack, we need one key thing. We need to capture a handshake. So if we don't capture a handshake, we'll not be able to attack. So we have two options here. Either you do this manually since you're since we are testing on our local spot here. So you disconnect one of the stations and reconnect again and you will be able to capture a handshake or we inject a deauthentication packet so that the client will authenticate again and we will be able to capture the handshake. To do that, you have to go to a new terminal. Make sure to keep that running. So go to a new terminal and issue this command which is airplay we use this command to inject packets minus zero is for deauthentication and specify here the number of packets that you need to send maybe 10 packets then minus a which is the source mac which is the mac of the hotspot and then we need to send this these packets to the station let's say this station and then we specify our interface and here you go the WPA handshake should appear here hopefully great and we were able to get a WPA handshake here so we can close this now and we can stop this here by doing control C so now we got a handshake we got a cap file that has a handshake and the next thing to do is to crack into this Wi-Fi network we use the command aircrack ng and minus w stands for a word list. So the thing here is that WPA networks, no WPA2 networks are very strong and we cannot just crack them by trial and error like we do for, for example, in web. So we need to use word list and depending on the 
If you have a strong word list, you'll be able to crack this hotspot better. If you have a weak word list, you'll not be able to crack that. So let's see here. Let's try to get a word list. So for the sake of this example, just try to see word list on my computer here. So maybe, so I don't know, let's, let's use this word list for example. Okay, let's open it in the leafpad command. Here you'll be able to see, maybe this is not the right uh, file to go for, for another file, maybe this one. So leaf pad and then open the file and you'll be able to see, this is a small file actually, but the aircraft will go through all these passwords and try them. So let's continue with issuing this aircraft command. So the W stands for the word list. I can just drag it from here. Make sure to remove columns. So this is the word list that I'll be using. Then minus B is for the VSS ID. Copy it again. Then we need to use the cap file that we already captured. Again, you just drag it and make sure to clean the path and the file name. We're just ready. You just press enter and here you go. Was found and you were able to crack into this Wi-Fi network.